Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Here I am going to tell you some important point related to WooCommerce. If you are using WooCommerce to create your online store, as you can see, this is my store and it is based on WooCommerce. And when we will go on like a my account, suppose we have a lot of customer and customer will go on his account to check his current order. Then you can see like there are like four to five option here dashboard order download address account details and logout when i will click on order then you can see there are a list of order where we will get a order id order date status total amount and action view here is the like a basic information here yeah, you can see like a description related to order when we will click on like our view button then we will get all the information related to a specific order like uh, order titles like product title order what product we have order in the current order so product title quantity and amount and what method we will use yeah, we, uh, like uh, your customer use for the payment so there is cod amount suppose a uh, customer used for any like online system like uh, payment gateway paypal or something else then here everything is captured like a uh, paypal or some stripe something okay and here is the billing detail you can see so what is the problem what i am going to tell you here and in this video especially as you can see there is a product title okay but in order section you cannot see the product image by default in WooCommerce you will not get image before like uh, order titles order product title we can say that and uh, quantity but like uh, suppose uh, you have a customer like lot of customer and he order some product then he want to see what product exactly he order before title or behind the title here you can see I added uh, articles on codesfever.com. You will get this articles link in the video description. From there you can directly move to these articles. Here you can see before the title or behind the title you can see the product image. This is easy for every customer to find out what product exactly he order in the current order scenario. Okay. So what I am going to tell you. We will add uh, some like a uh, code snipped code snip i hope uh, if you are a developer then you understand what is the code snip basically we will add some code in our theme function dot php file okay so using this code is snipped we will do the same functionality what you are getting here in the pictures when we will apply this code in our like theme function dot php file then we will get the same layout like uh, in product image before the order product title let's see and just i am going to copy this code from here copy and i am here in my theme child theme function.php file okay just i will paste this code and click on save button okay that's it now i will refresh this page and you can see wow now we are getting the product image up the title you can see or be before the title like uh, right now you can see product image little bit small okay if you want to like a uh, resize image width height here you can see right now our product uh, image size is 50 pixels you can increase it like 150 if i am increasing the size to 150 and when i will click on it then you can see product image will resize to 150 pixel so it is easy to increase the product image size based on your requirement you just need to enter size in pixels especially in pixels you have to remember size should be in pixels okay so you can see I added 150 pixels if I will increase to like a 250 pixels and save it now I will go and refresh then you can see product image to fit 
so this is the basic concept uh, of wo commerce this is the small code snippet what you have to use in your function.php file in your child theme or a main theme it depend on you if you are using main theme then suppose with the new updates of the theme every code will be replaced but if you are using this code in child theme function.php then it will like did not replace but like you will get a new update on your current theme then theme will be like updated but the child theme code will be same so i will suggest you to use any code snippet in child theme function.php file not in the main function.php file so i hope you will get all the information what i want to provide you and how we will implement this code you will get like it is not a big deal you can do it a very easy way only you just need to copy this code and paste it on function.php file and just you can see the result in your my account order section i hope this article will helpful for you and you will get the relevant information what you looking for for your wo commerce project if you will get this information useful then please don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel thanks to watching this video